What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Zeal Cigar Review. Justin is always sitting back, as usual, in his gangster lean. That's why you guys can never hear him. So if you're back that way, Justin, from the audience themselves, speak loudly and clearly if you're going to sit back there. But if you're going to be up here, you can talk normal like I do. I talk normal, right? You talk loud. I do talk just a little bit loud. But with all that said, guys, today we have a certain challenge thrown down by yours truly, Justin, to yours truly, Bradley, about barber pole cigars. So uh, we're going to be talking about barber pole cigars and how they're different from all the other cigars that are out there all next on the Zeal Cigar Review. And do not change your channel here or adjust your settings on YouTube. I have a different watch on. Now, I keep getting comments and DMs and everything else about the watches that I wear. So let me go through the three types of watches that I have. First, I have an Apple Watch, which I lost the charger for and I can't find, so it's at home. Second, I have the ever popular G-Shock, white G-Shock that I love. And that's gone too, and I have no idea where it went. As is my glasses. I have no idea where my glasses are. We've been hunting around here in the shop, and we're looking everywhere else, for, everywhere else for my glasses. So everything is just a little bit more blurry, and I can't even see my phone. And then finally, I have my trusty and old faithful nice watch. It doesn't even work anymore, so if you're trying to tell what time it is, the time's always wrong. But I have to have something on my wrist when I do these cigar reviews and when I go throughout the day. If you look back in the last cigar review you did, I didn't have a watch on and I felt like it was completely off because I didn't have a watch on. So there's my two cents about watches. If you have a suggestion for a nice watch or you're a watch dealer and you want to send me one to wear on camera, feel free to do that because I like watches and I like hats. So I only wear Kangle, and, but watches, I'm not loyal to anybody. So with that said, Justin, tell me who you're loyal to. Family. Family. That's a Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, thing. bro. <laughs> family. Family. It's always about family. <laughs> so today, Justin has the bright idea of testing my palate on barber poles. Now, barber poles are a little different because they have two wrappers, sometimes three wrappers, depending if it's an exquisite barber pole or if it's just a regular barber pole. So we have some exquisites and we have some regulars and Justin's trying to ask me, actually Justin proposed a question to me, do you think you could tell the difference between barber poles if your eyes were closed or you were blindfolded? I told him, I don't know, that's a good video though. So let's do that. So as a result of that, we are here doing the video and Justin is here trying to blindfold me and test my palate once again. So we're gonna see which one's my favorite barber pole. So. That said, here we go. I'm gonna be smoking a barber pole that's not in this, just because if I give him this one, he'll know what it is because of the sizes it comes in, but this is the Twisted Fate. Okay, say it again, don't let me, don't let me interrupt you. Okay, ready, go. This is the Twisted Fate in the Masterpiece we'll start, size. <laughs> start over again. Start over what, where? What you said, what, what you said, you're like, I was gonna you give Bradley this that. one. No, I can't, because there's times that we over talk, and I can't cut it, I'm sorry, it's really hard, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be smoking the Twisted Fate Masterpiece <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. You're I, killing me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm gonna cut the whole thing and do it no, all. I'm over sorry. Again. Okay. Then okay. you're gonna have to do the whole beginning. Okay. Again. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm cutting and lighting this one, and he's just gonna sit there and giggle like a 12 year old. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's the reality. Sometimes I have to edit these things, and we over talk each other, and so that's what's going on. So Justin's cutting and lighting the cigars, and we're, I'm gonna see if I can actually taste any difference in these these barber pole cigars. So. Here we go, and we'll see what's going on. I don't know what these cigars are. Justin knows I don't, so as a result, I'm gonna smoke them, and we'll tell you. We'll, I'll, I'll tell you which one I think is the best one, as well as the notes on each one as I get them. So, because, all right, blow through this. All right, where's? Can I? Okay, Are you sure it's not? Okay. All right, this is number one. I showed you guys. I'm gonna be smoking Twisted Fate, which I think I've said multiple times already, depending on how he edits this. In the masterpiece size. This Those is are one of the this first. Is peppery. Peppery? Yeah, this is peppery. Okay. Gets a pepper out of it right away. It's more of a medium, but it's it's still got some pepper and some kick to it. Okay. Barber Poles was one of the first like uh, cigars that I actually fell in love with and smoked regularly. Uh, I think it was by Exquisito. Maybe was the Barber Pole. Mm -hmm. Super nutty. But one of the things I like about Barber Poles, you have two wrappers in there, so you got kind of twice the. Twice the punch or twice the flavor, twi twice the amount of tasting, if you would. What do you think of that one? You said a little pepper at the beginning. A little bit in the nasal cavity. It's very good. It's got this, like, real cocoa-y and creaminess to it as well. It's really nice. I really like it. Some nice wood tones as well. Okay. I like that. Yeah, that's really good. I'm digging this. 
more cocoa and creamy okay. than like peppery. But it does have a little bit of pepper. Pepper's probably, I'd say, a four, maybe a five. So not, not real, real strong, but enough that you know that it's there. That's good. It's got nuttiness to it, too. It's got a nuttiness to it. Okay. okay. What was the first barber pole you ever smoked? This is number two. Probably the Asylum Ogre. Really? Yeah. Had a long time ago. The Asylum Ogre. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is much sweeter than the last one. Okay. Sweeter? Much sweeter. Yeah. Ooh, really good, too. Smooth and creamy. Light milk chocolate. Some nuttiness. The other one was more peppery and, like, dark cocoa. This one's light or lighter. Okay. It's really good. Okay. It's really good. It's not nearly as strong as the first one. Okay. So I'd say the pepper on this is probably maybe a two or three. And I'm kind of hotboxing it for the video, but that's really good. It's lighter. I'd say, yeah, two or three is the pepper uh, and the strength. But the uh, the taste and the flavor is more mild than the first one. More enjoyable, I'd say, for the average cigar smoker. Okay. Uh, the other one, you got to like stronger cigars for the other one, I think. That's my thought on that one. That's good. Some uh, slight little nuttiness. But there's a major difference between that first one and that second one, that's for sure. Much different. Okay. And a tighter pull, too. Okay, a little tighter. Yeah, tighter pull. They're all cut the same. Mmm. That one's got the most unique smell on the light up for me. That's really good. Being a bystander. That's... That's exquisite. That's a very good cigar. Oh, the, the, the numbness on the lips, the premium tobacco, that, that, um, ooh, a little bit of cinnamon on there, maybe? A little hazelnut? Ah, I don't know, man. This is on the retro hail. Full, like, nuttiness and hazelnut on the retro hail. Okay. This is great. I don't, see, I never, I don't really smoke barber poles. We don't really smoke barber poles that much, do we? Uh, I, yeah. I do. I smoke you the do. Irish Hulk and the Storm Chaser quite a bit. Mm. And the Twisted, actually, I've smoked quite a few of the Twisted Fates, which I really like. Uh, I prefer it in the box press rather than the, mm -hmm. this uh, masterpiece size, but this is really good, too. This is delicious. Yeah? What is this? I was going to ask you if you thought you knew what any of them were so far. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. I have no clue. So far, this is the best one. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is really good. I'm actually surprised by that. Mm. But there's still one more. Okay. Man, this is really good. I'm, 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 yeah, that's really good. Huh. Whatever that is, is really good. I really want to know what these things are. That's what I want to know, so. I want to know. Can you show me? What are you singing? I want to know about the strangers like me. Again, Justin is bringing pop culture quotes that I have no idea. Dude, that was Phil Collins from the movie Tarzan. I never saw Tarzan. What? I didn't see the anime. See, you were like three when I was 13. Actually, I think there's a little bit bigger gap than that. I think it's 16 years. Mm. I think we're 16 apart. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is the last one. Number four. I actually switched my order based on how you were saying <laughs> certain things about other cigars. So you kind of missed me up a little bit on how I was going to give them to you. It's a little pepper in the lips. That tastes good. I like this, dude. You like that? I do. Okay. Out of the four so far, though. Number three is my favorite. This is my three. second favorite. Okay. Number one was my third, and number... So number two is my third, and then number one's my fourth. Okay. As far as that's the order that I would I would like. Can I, can I, do, can I go now? Yeah. Ooh, I thought this was the uh, Irish Hulk. Yeah? This is the Irish Hulk, and this is unbelievably good. I love this one. So... So it, it Again, I don't have a lot of experience with barber poles, so I don't smoke them a lot. But when I do, I really enjoy it. So I like that one. Which was my second that I liked? Number most. two? Yeah. The number two cigar was the Got Your Six. Got Your Six. But yeah. that was also the number two you smoked. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, Got Your Six. So was, okay, so this is my, what was my number one cigar? The, num the number one you liked or the number, number one, one you were I smoked. The one, one, number one I smoked. First one I gave you to smoke was the Storm Chaser. Storm Chaser, yeah. Very peppery, very peppery, very... It's a, it's a it's basically a, a Habana Maduro and a San Andreas. Yeah. So it's a it's definitely a, a, a dark-on-dark cigar. A little oh, peppery, so but it's very, very good. And then, which one is this one? Kismet. And the Kismet was my, what, number three? 
That's the number three cigar smoked, but the one you said you liked the most. Oh, was the Kismet. Yeah, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Which, when we smoked the first time, we didn't... We kind of were... Oh, my gosh, dude. Yeah, we were kind of throwing That's fantastic. It until we got to, like, halfway through the first third, we were kind of suspect on it. But, yeah, it's it's a good smoke, man. That's fantastic. marshmallow the, Oh, very marshmallow -y. You hit it, dude. You got a better palate than I do. I said creamy and nutty, and it's like a... Yeah, like a... Almost like a... Vanilla chocolate milkshake with a little bit of cinnamon and hazelnut thrown in there. Ooh, that's what I that's what I think it tastes like. So little, little, little swirl, little mm, swirl cone. Mm. What what are some of your favorite barber pole cigars? Drop them in the comments below. And are you shocked by my findings? If you are, drop a comment on how majestic my beard is. If you're not shocked at all by our little test here with Justin, then drop a comment and suggest what hat Justin should wear next on the videos. <laughs> and with that said, guys, we gotta get back to work. So we're out of here like last year. Peace.